What's up, guys? Just want to pick up where we left off with our readings. December 2022. Jumping into Cancerian energy. Feel free to apply this to your fourth house. Check out the uh, astrological um, houses wheel or chart. To Google astrological houses. Should get a wheel. Um, and it tells you what each house pertains to. So if you're not a Cancerian, you can apply this to your fourth house of home, feminine energy, roots, family, self care, emotions, foundations, children, femininity. Or feel free to apply this to Cancerian anywhere in your chart. Spirit of gratitude. Joy, love, and light, highest possible messages at this time. I'm shuffling off camera. This is going to be a Celtic cross. Celtic, if you're nasty. Let's see what. Let's see. Convey. Okay, in the position of self. What's crossing you? I think I'm going to start to overlay a past, present, future on this. What's anchoring, what's crowning, what's working against you, for you, an ally, and how come, and then we got our secret sauce card on the bottom left. <clears throat> so, uh, in the position of self, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse here. This typically represents options. In the reverse position, it is a scattered energy. <clears throat> it could be distractions, loss of direction, loss of what's next for you. What's crossing you is the Ace of Cups in the upright position. This could also be read in the reverse as far as what you're emotionally invested into. You could still be still emotionally invested into something that's stagnant. I feel as though with the neutral position, you're not necessarily waiting on anything new. You're still just kind of in the mix of things as they lay, as they lie. What's in the past energy is the seven of pentacles in the upright. So it does very much so feel like a business as usual energy here. The seven of pentacles in the upright. And in the future, it's growing enough to be able to give back. Maybe a reinvestment of sorts. An empowering position for you. Makes me think of those family members that always come through in the clutch during the holiday season. Pennies from heaven, things of this nature. The present energy is coming through. We mentioned the Eight of Cups in the reverse being kind of cobbled together with these energies. I like to add them together, I like to add them together. Eight of Cups in the reverse is actually out here as well. So there is very much so is a stagnancy. And then that mixed with the fact that your ally is travel, growth, expansion. Um, something of that nature. Um, let's see what your secret sauce is. Secret sauce is the five of swords in, in reverse. So this is going to be a connection, a bridge, not cutting ties. It's a very apropos energy. You don't want to burn bridges, although at times you might be f feel uh, like you're pushed to. 
What's Anne Crane is the Queen of Pentacles. This is very apropos because this is a motherly energy reading. Uh, Cancerian is protective as well. What's crowning you is your morality. So you're standing firm on what you believe in. So I feel as though that overall is kind of protecting you. What's working against you is the Six of Cup in the upright, which is too much nostalgia maybe. Okay, so you don't want to fall for the nostalgia trap. You want to kind of equate the present energies to the good times. It's funny because actually I have a message that I wrote on my wall here. It says, these are the good times. Um, and I think that more often than not, we forget that. You know, at this, this current time, these are the good times that you look back on and reflect upon. What's working for you is your independence, trying to get your money right. You know that you're doing it in an upstanding way at that. When we tandem these two energies together. So I think your ally is this continuous growth and expansion. It doesn't have to literally be travel. And the outcome is just like a very kind of sharpshooter energy here. Uh, this is a very laser-like focus. Um, it's kind of interesting how this spread is very much so feeling like it's being informed by relationships. And, you know, if you're wont to wait for a relationship, you know, if you're one to wait for a relationship or think that that's going to be any better, <laughs> I got some news for you. Um, don't get me wrong, I think that there are, you know, are perks to that, but it doesn't solve life, you know. So, um, like I said, these are the good times, you know. And, yeah. I just feel like there's a lot of momentum behind this reading. So, so as to say that you could continue chipping away at your goals, you could work on your momentum and make progress. That's how it's coming across here. Anything else, Spirit? Any final messages, Spirit, for the Cancerian? Anything else that we could speak to? That time will come, that time for this Ace of Cup to be inverted will come, is how all of these cups essentially offset. You know. Not necessarily channeling a relationship energy here. But, you know, the pentacles seem to be working well. In the wands department, you only have the five of wands, or the six of wands in the reverse, so. To me, this is a very kind of like home and hearth energy, well, to everybody really, not just me, but the fact that it's anchoring you, it's almost as if you're, you know, making your own household, you know. 
and I'm, I'm getting just like a good healthy tradition here. Hmm, anything else? Anything else? Secret duck sauce. Maybe I'll introduce a, another card called A Bridge Too Far. Secret Duck Sauce. So this is Secret Duck Sauce, and then on this right quadrant here in this empty space, this is the, self, the Celtic Cross, Secret Duck Sauce. There's the arm to the Celtic Cross. Maybe I'll do like a bridge too far. Like, you know, you know, you know the motherfuckers that are like just too out there, and it's just like... <laughs> I'm probably one of them, but it's like, this motherfucker crazy, you need to like, back off. <laughs> I'm such a ham. I can't believe I do off-camera readings now, only to pop my fucking head in. <laughs> That's funny. Let's do, let's introduce a bridge too far. This is fun. Like, oh no, hell no, he's crazy. Strength card in the upright is a bridge too far. So, hmm. I feel like the impetus of a bridge too far is like a reaching energy. You know, like, what are you tempting? What do you, I mean, obviously it's a Leo. So if you're dealing with Leos, You know, not putting your head in the in the lion's mouth, so to speak. Anything else with this bridge too far? It's a very interesting concept when you look at it with fresh eyes. The lazy gobbler. It's about a feminine energy having mastery over the lazy lion. What's a bridge too far, though? Like. It's like you've gone too far, you've gone overboard. Maybe either with like some sort of self-restraint. Let's get a clarifier for this spirit. The internal alchemy. So something may be revealed here. I think there's a full moon coming up. Yeah, I mean, to me, this reads as like the outcome is like a personal victory. It's an internal alchemical based victory I'm getting here. Like your meditations, your sacrifices, your spiritual practices are just paying off, I believe. And the product will be revealed. I think I heard there was like a full moon, like, I don't know, when's the next full moon? Okay, no, it's a new moon, excuse me. I think there's a new moon in Sagittarius, I don't know. I feel like you. I feel like you are going to be getting some downloads. Um, on the twenty third, 
the new moon. It's going to be Wednesday. I feel like Wednesday is going to be a big day or something's going to be in the cover of the night, so to speak. And it's like, you're going to be able to like move or get away with something or get around something is what I'm seeing here. It could come in your dreams. Okay, it could be a visitor or something, an idea, an aha moment. That's what I'm getting. It's going to be something that you're going to be open to. Because you got the moon here, and this is a receptivity here. Seven of Wands in the reverse. And this is obviously through meditation or sleep. So you may want to uh, make it a point to meditate on the 23rd. It's when the moon's at 0%. Okay. Anything else, spirit? Anything else, spirit? Yeah, there's going to be a major illumination, I believe, going on. The hangman in the reverse here. So look for a download around that time. Okay, meditate on the 23rd. Check. Okay. We'll leave it there, uh, Cancerian. Let's move on over to Leo, as it were. Uh, love and light to you. I'm looking crazy. I just got out the shower. Didn't do my hair. Long hair, don't cur. Um, reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. As always, love and light to you guys. Let's holler at Leo. Peace.